Alright, so, like I said, we're going to start off with the mental toughness, alright? This is not exciting, I'm going to tell you right now. You guys aren't going to sweat during this, alright? But this is the, the backbone of anything you do, not just in basketball, but in your lives, alright? So when I tell you this is the most important part of the clinic, believe me when I tell you, it is, alright? We have a theme for the clinic, alright? It's called belief, alright? You believe me, son? Sure. You think you can do anything you want to set your mind to? Yeah. Why do you pause? Why do you look up? Why are you looking at it? Right? How do you move your body? Right? You believe yourself? You think you're going to be the best guy you could possibly do? What? Hopefully. Why are you looking that way? Why are you looking that way? Right now. Oh. Got yeah. it. Bottom line is everything starts with belief. Yeah, who's heard the expression, I'll believe it when I see it? What does that mean?
Why not? All right? Let me ask you a question. What sounds better? How can I do this? Or there's no way I can do this. How can I? You have to ask yourselves good questions. All right? Questions are the key to life. That's all thinking is. Thinking is just questions. You have to start thinking. I'm not talking about thinking about what you're going to do with your friends or thinking about you know, who you're going to play in Xbox or whatever it is. I'm talking about thinking to try to think, create it, create your life. All right? I know you guys are young, but if you start now, think about how far ahead you are of everybody in the world, let alone the basketball world. All right? So this is what I want. What's your name? William, what does that What's something that's really important to you? Right. Basketball? What else? Not basketball. Not basketball. School. School. All right. What's one of your major goals? The pass. The pass? Just the pass? Going out. Okay. So I want you now to tell me about how passionate you are about making that number. And I want you to you have to get, be confident about it. Be excited about it. Right? And tell me, and I want you to see how this feels. Yeah. Without taking the focus off the palm of your hand, 
I want you to tell me everything behind your hand without taking the focus off your hand in detail. Is it possible? No, right? Why? Because you're focusing on your hand. Now, stay, keep your hand where it is. Now I want you to look past your palm, look past your fingers, and look at all the detail on the floor behind you and everything. But still keep your head in the same position. You can see everything behind your, behind your hand, right? But you can't see the detail in your hand anymore, right? Why? Because you're focusing on behind your hand. Put your hands out. Does that, does that kind of trigger something there? What you're focusing on, what you're paying attention to, is what's going to become your reality. That's the bottom line. All right? So, actually, one more thing I want you to do. I want you guys to take a look around the gym for 10 seconds. And I want you to find everything that is purple. Keep it in your mind. Just look around the gym for 10 seconds. Everything is purple. Eyes closed, totally. Eyes closed, let me you. And I want you to tell me everything in this gym that's red. Can you see many things that are red? Why? Open your eyes. Because you were focusing on all the purple stuff. That's how the mind works. Things come to you and you notice things based on what you're looking for. All right? Now, the last one we're going to get into is posture, all right? Your posture equals confidence. That's the bottom line. Let me ask you a question. If I, if I came in here like before, I should have shook your hand, right? Like, what is this? All right, cool. All right, if I come in here like this, I'm like, guys, you know, I'm going to teach you on basketball. I hope we're really good. And, you know, I think we're going to do all right. What is this guy doing, right? Seriously, I would, I would be something like, what is this guy doing? It's about your confidence, about how you feel about yourself, about the way you move your body. Alright? A firm handshake, right? Even for women. I'll tell you what, I'm not dead here. My wife is very successful in her career. And she has a handshake that's more firm than some men that I know. Why? Because she's confident in who she is. You gotta know that when you step on this court, you're the best player that you can possibly be. Not, you're not better than him or her. It's not about you being better than him or you being better than her. It's about you being the best that you possibly can be. And that comes from you, your posture, where you move it. You gotta understand something, guys. Emotion, all right? You ever see hands on the court, they're excited, they're jumping around and getting excited, right? That comes from motion. You can't sit here like this and be happy and be excited. All right, everybody stand up, sorry. Close your eyes for one second. All right? Now, since we're in a basketball clinic, um, I want you guys to just imagine in your mind right now. Your mind doesn't know the difference between reality, keep your eyes closed, reality and imagination. Okay? Your body will trigger the same emotions, the same muscle. Everything will be triggered based on your imagination. So I want, right now, I want everybody to imagine that they just reached their best possible goal that they, that they want to accomplish in basketball. All right? So, just try and think about it. Try and feel it. All right? See people's shoulders coming up a little bit. You see people's heads changing. Envision, envision. See his shoulders just came up. All right? You have to envision what you want to make it a reality. Again, you're, there's no such thing as reality. Your perception of reality. What you want, what you focus, how you talk, how you move your body. All right, now, open your eyes. Now I want you to look up at the sky. I want you to put on the biggest smile you've ever put on in your entire life. I know it sounds corny. Trust me on this. Look up to the sky. That's sky. That's sky. That's okay. Biggest smile you've ever put on in your entire life. Look, you guys need to work on smiles. You, you, you're not too happy, are you? Oh, look, he's got teeth. Look at that. All right. Now put the biggest smile on you ever put on your life. If you just won the championship of your high school, right? Now without changing anything in your body at all, get depressed. Does it happen? Relax. It's impossible to be positive and negative at the same time. So if you want to get positive, change the way you move, change your focus, and change your language. And everything about your life, not just basketball, because this is a basketball clinic, but aside from this, this is just preparing you for life. All right, that's all this is. I, I, our goal here is to not just create better basketball players, but to create better people. That's what it's about. Because the better person you are, 
the better player you're going to become. That's just the way it works. All right? So now, one second. If you want, right now, if anyone doesn't want to give their best, you can leave right now. You can get your money back and you can walk out right now. Because this is not about letting you guys just run through drill. There's going to be training in, there's going to be learning in, and then you're going to take things away from here. If you didn't already take something with the mental side, you're going to take things away from the physical, right? We're not going to accept you not giving your best effort, effort on every single rep. Every single rep. If we're doing one drill and it's your turn, give your best. Why wouldn't you? Why would you wait for the next one? What if the next one doesn't come? What if you're in a game and you're like, I'm not going to give my best on this shot, and then the coach pulls you from the game and you don't get another chance? Oh, I would have had another chance. Give your best effort. We won't accept the bad attitude. Everybody in here is on the same team right now. Everybody's here to learn, everyone's here to become teammates. This is about learning how to develop relationships and how to develop continuity with people that you don't know. That's what basketball is, that's what life is. You, you go onto a team, you don't know the people right away. Right you have to learn how to connect with them. That's what this is, all right? We won't accept low standards. If you think that I'm not that good or I'm not gonna get better, then again, you can leave. I'm not gonna accept that. Set your standards high, you know why? If you don't make it to the top the way you set it, then you know what? You got further. If you reach your goals, your goals aren't good enough. You always have to be raising the bar. All right, so we're not gonna accept that. And this is a big one. This is the last one. We're not gonna accept any of you guys and ladies not making mistakes. If you don't make mistakes today, you're not working hard enough. We're not trying to see who's the best person, the best player. We're here to teach, and, here to, and you guys are here to learn. So we're not going to accept not making mistakes. If you didn't make mistakes, you didn't work hard. All right? So 